Hey everybody, it's Technic Backlon. Hello and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. So when we last left off, we had failed absolutely miserably. Uh, I had started recording our next game's progression in building, and then we got a whole bunch of phone calls, faxes, emails, stupid, stupid amounts of sound. So um, I don't have the footage before this, but that was only like four minutes worth. Nothing huge, not a massive loss. Um, so this is the kicker, it's a fantasy action game. It's for everyone, and it is for the gameling. Uh, engine can take a hit, we want awesome gameplay. Stories and quests, not so much. So we're just developing this up. Uh, we're back to being on our own here. Uh, dialogue, wakashi humahu, doesn't really matter. Artificial intelligence, not a huge deal. Level design, epic. All right, now um, graphics and sounds we want awesome. Looks good to me. Here goes nothing, guys. Dear TPM Gaming, we have followed you in recent news. Uh, games, 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 also known as G3. That's cool. I have the option to get a G3 booth soon, hopefully. That's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and polish this off, kill off all these bugs, you know, take out our insecticide and uh, spray it all around, squashing them in every which way. And then let's add a little bit more in design and technology here. Polishing, polishing, and let's release it. Here goes nothing. New record gain for design, that's cool. No new combos, no great game. But uh, it'll be interesting to see. Okay, there we go. Now we have unlocked 3D graphics. That's exactly what I wanted. Here goes nothing. Ooh, I saw some tens in there. Love it. Nice. We're back, guys. We're back. This is what I should have done in the first place. <gasps> we got a 10! Outstanding achievement from all games. They are like the hardest hard noses to please. We got a 10. Let's just sit back and watch these sales roll in. But while that happens, let's also research. Uh, can we research 2D graphics, 3D graphics? No, we can't. Can we research marketing? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, what can we research? Um, we'll research hacking just for the heck of it. I mean, why the heck not? You know? Look at those units, though. Holy crap. Look at that. The money just pouring in. We're rank 7. That's amazing. Well, you know, it hits doing quite well. Not quite as much sales that I would have liked, but I want to come back and make a Kicker 3D once I have enough research points, so... Sweet! According to our market research, the recently published game Kicker is a surprise with players. Well, that's very exciting. Look at that, we're rank 11! We're just pouring out tons of units. Heck yeah, we're going to G3. Uh, let's, let's start, um... We want to research anything? We can't research anything. Okay, let's make a new game. Uh, let's see here. What? What? Uh, we'll go with our game engine. We want to put it on the Super TES. The topic is going to be dungeon. It's a dungeon adventure game for the Super TES. It's for everyone. Dun, Dungon, er, er, Dungoni, there we go, Dungoni, and we want it to be 2D graphics, we want good stories and quests, we want awesome gameplay, and the engine can take a bit of a hit. Look at those sales of the kicker, though. Holy mackerel. We're just pouring out the units of sales of that. We've sold almost 70,000 units. That's a big hit. Okay, so we want good level design. This is an adventure game. We want good dialogue. 
artificial intelligence isn't all that important in here. So let's make a big focus on design here. Dungeon E. Let's see how many people come see our booth. Holy mackerel. We're just racking in the people. 43,000 people. That should bring some hype to Dungeon E. Awesome. We didn't make it to the top 100 booths this year, but we should do well. Let's see here. Uh, mono sounds, yes. We want good world design. Um, and then let's take a tiny hit on graphics and a tinier hit on sounds. We want really good world design, though. We want very strong world design. So let's go ahead and go all in for that. And whoa, look at the hype for this game. I really hope I can satisfy the hype. Holy crap. Look at that. The hype is 46. New research available sequels. Look at that hype. Oh my gosh. want to continue to polish this off a little bit. And now that we have no more bugs, let's finish this. And I hope that this goes well. This is a dungeon adventure game. It's for the Super TES. It's a new topic. It's a new combo. Here goes nothing. First reviews are in for the dungeon E. Oh, it's a flop. It's a flop. That's a shame. You know, TES, it's a tough market. It really is. But now that I have the uh, research points I need, hopefully, to go ahead and research, um, I want to research, come on, click on my head, there we go. I want to research 3D graphics version 1. Awesome. And then here in a moment, I'm going to want to develop a new engine. Vony play system, rework the earlier play system project. Okay, um, how about we go for, what else can we research here? We wanna research the, hmm. Let's research the steering wheel, no I can't. Okay, never mind. All right, well we are gonna develop a new game and we're gonna do that for the play system, but before we do that, I want this to have 3D graphics, so we're gonna make a new engine. It's gonna have 3D graphics and 2D graphics. It's gonna have the mouse, the joystick, and the gamepad. It's gonna have better AI, and it's gonna have open world. This is going to be the kitchen, kitchen, sink, 1.0, sticking with the same engine name, because I really like that. It's, it's creative, it's like something of my own. This is gonna take absolutely ages, though. My goodness. The play system by Vony's been released. Okay, well, if we can speed up this process here. Come on! Taking years! Yeah, not, not my best. Not my best. I, I, I went for a go, but it really just didn't pay off. You know, it happens. You have great games and you have not so great games. But, you know, you pick up, you do your best, and you move on. Any day now we should have our engine complete. Cool, is our engine done? It should be all done. Good, the kitchen sink is now complete. Go ahead and hit OK. And we have now uh, game options for simulations. Um, you know what? Let's make, develop a new game. We're going to have this be for everyone. It's the Flyer E. It is an airplane simulation game for... The PC, it's going to use the Kitchen Sink 1.0, and it's going to use 3D graphics. It's going to be pioneering the way with 
innovative technologies. All right, now we want an awesome engine on this game. Uh, stories and quests, not so much. Let, let's do it like that. And then we're gonna allow the joystick, the gamepad, and the mouse. Linear story, simple cutscenes, no, and no. Save game, totally. Got a really good feeling about this one, guys. As long as we can get it done in time for the popular genre simulation to hang in there. Uh, better AI, sure, why not? Dialogue's really not important. I'd rather put some artificial intelligence into this game. Cool, now we've got hype about our game. It's so sad how much hype Dungeon E had and how much of a flop it was. Dang it, no simulation. That's a disappointment. We just couldn't get it done in time. Uh, world design take a bit of a hit here uh, don't need open world want 3d graphics no let's go with open world there we go here goes nothing guys I, I feel like this is gonna be a good game though I do I really do look at that we're hitting some some nice design and technology not a lot of hype here uh, just too hype a meager too hype two new records no new categories leveled up a little bit I feel like we're gonna do well with this though. I mean, it's a flying simulation game. It has 3D graphics. We're pioneering the way with new inventive technologies and it looks like it's about to pay off. It's beautiful. Come on, all games. Could have been more. Oh, well, you know, you know them. Okay, so now that we have all these lovely research points, let's see, what do we want to research? We can research time travel or sequels. Let's research sequels. Our money is just quickly dwindling and yet also being refilled uh, by the money coming in from Flyer E. It's a great game, really, and it's just making tons of cash. Uh, do we want a small booth? Sure, because we're going to go back and look at our game history here. We're going to look at our best game that we released, and that was Kicker. I'm feeling like we should do Kicker on the play system. So let's do Kicker on the play system. We're going to use 3D graphics instead of 2D, and see here is that what we want to do I'm trying to decide here barrio absolutely meh uh flyery airplane simulation I already made that i didn't realize that uh killer m pc mature fightio pc mature barrio y did pretty well on the uh gameling for young and the gameling for everyone just an absolute flop um Let's see here, the Niterer, the Killeress. All right, let's get right back to our, I'm thinking the game that we are going to make a sequel for, which is Kickerer. So we should have sequels released. Yes, now we want to develop a sequel to Kickerer. Let's hope that we don't just absolutely botch the, um, the thing. We wanna use the Kitchen Sink 1.0. We want to put this on play system or do we want to use the super tes so let's go with the super tes this is going to be a fantasy action game for the super tes it's for everyone this is called the kicker er test no this is the kicker -er sink because this is using our brand new kitchen sink engine it's going to use uh do we want it to use 3d graphics i'm trying to think how 3d graphics would be cool in such a thing would it be better with like a side scroller kind of feel or would it be better with 3d graphics not really sure to be honest um i mean if you're fighting with 3d graphics i, I think that could be cool 
So we're gonna go 3D graphics. This is the kitchen sink. Kicker sink. I'm sorry, kicker sink. Uh, we want good cutscenes, and we want. Uh, sure, let's go with a linear story. We want awesome stories and quests then, and the engine can take a bit of a hit. And we want good gameplay. All right, um, that's nice. We could either spend the money and time to patch it. How much is it gonna be to patch it? Um, I don't even think we can patch anything right now just because we are absolutely working away. Uh, oh, okay. This patch shouldn't be too hard. Um, okay, so we want man dialogues, good artificial intelligence. We want better AI, cool beans. And then uh, we should be developing a patch here now. We've just taken a quick halt to develop a patch. We've got G3, lots of people around Kicker or Sync. Couldn't have come at a better time, honestly. We're gonna get a good hype around this game, release it, and make a lot of people really happy. We just patched our game. That should make a lot of people very, very happy as well. We got a good hype on this game too. Uh, let's hope that we can we can deliver, you know, with that. I don't think we need open world. We want good world design on this, uh, but we want amazing graphics and sounds. Flyer E is now off the market. Sold about 351,000. Uh, we're just wrapping this up here. That's nice. All right, so we have a type of 38. Let's finish off these bugs. Two months, Venegear will be taken off the market. Let's see what else we can pump into this real quickly. And here we go. This should be a design record. There we go, new record. Leveling up all over the place. I am now level four as a human being. Branching story, dialogue tree, AI companions, day and night cycle, and stereo sound. I have a good feeling about this one, guys. I think this is gonna be really good. Oh, I'm seeing some pretty high numbers there. Nice experience. We did it. We did it, guys. We developed a legitimately successful sequel. This thing is just gonna sell buttloads of copies. Just buttloads. Think about it. This is for the TES, not the Ninvento, um, uh, game, whatever it's called. And it was met with great responses. We're rank 44, we've already sold 20,000 units. We're just bringing in the sales on this here. Uh, let's see here. So while that's happening, let's go ahead and research something. Um, a lot of these are things that would go into our engine, so I don't wanna develop any of those. Uh, steering wheel, that's engine. So let's see what we have in new topics. Uh, you know what, time travel, what the heck, why not? Venegear no longer supported. Well, that's not a huge shock here. Um, let's see here. We completed time travel. Uh, let's see here. I want to develop a new game. It's for... Mmm... Um, I'm gonna say this is play playing doctor. It's for mature audiences. The topic is going to be time travel. It is an adventure game. The platform is the PC, and the game engine is the kitchen sink. This is going to be a 3D graphics adventure called Playing Doctor. It's a time travel adventure. If you don't get my reference there, then uh, I don't know what's wrong with you. We want a linear story, we want simple cutscenes, good stories and quests, good gameplay, and let's even bring up the engine just a little bit and bring down the story. Good balance there, I think. Uh, let's see here. I already have hype about our new game. Someone must have just, you know, found out walking by, saw me tapping away on my keyboard. We want awesome dialogues because this is a time travel adventure game. We want good level design. Um, and we want good artificial intelligence. Let's take dialogues down just a bit. Uh, I feel like that's a good balance there. Level design actually could come down a bit with a little bit more focus on dialogues. Yeah, that should be good. 
Kicker Sync, now off the market, 35,000 copies. Not bad. Really not bad. I think we might hit a new design milestone with this as well. We're just scratching our heads. Now we're going back to our work. Wow, yeah, I think we will definitely hit a design milestone on this. Uh, we want an open world. We want awesome world design. Um, sounds need to be good. Graphics can take a bit of a hit. Uh, world design can go down just a bit, but not much. Okay, strategy games are particularly popular at this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a strategy game right after this one. Uh, as soon as this is done, we're putting a lot of design and technology into this. Let's just polish off these bugs here. Okay, now that all these bugs are gone, let's add a little bit more to the design of it. I think this is gonna be a great game. Here goes nothing. It's called Playing Doctor. It's the time travel adventure game. <laughs> New combo, great combo. Nice, a bonus 1.6, 2D graphics, version two. Now we have a multiplayer unlock. Uh, strategy games are now very popular. Let's see if we have any good topics to release. Um, if not, then how about a medieval strategy game? Playing Doctor came in. Seeing some high scores on there. Time travel and adventure is a great combination. Good game. Could have been more. And fun at stages. You know what, I'll take that. That's not too bad. It was definitely a bit of a jump. It, it's a uh, far cry from the kind of games I usually make. Uh, let's develop a new game now, and this is going to be a strategy game. It's gonna be a medieval strategy game. And the platform is going to be the PC. It's going to be for mature audiences. And the game engine is going to be the kitchen sink. This is going to be called Mid Strat Sink. Here we go. And the cost is 15K. We want 2D graphics version 2. Playing Doctor, selling a meager 12K day one. Not terrible, not, not fantastic. Um, we want. Uh, not that much in stories and quests. We want amazing gameplay and good strong engine. We don't need cutscenes. It's not a linear story. Save game is important. Mouse joystick gamepad, all optional features for you to use. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Putting a lot of technology into this game and design. We want amazing level design. Uh, good artificial intelligence. Really not a whole lot of dialogue going on here. It's a strategy game. Let's crank that up, actually. That should add quite a bit of the technology to our game as well. Uh, dumping a few more bugs in there. Uh, not doing too bad, though. We've definitely made back the money uh, from making our awesome engine. Uh, we want awesome graphics, awesome sounds. World design, not so big of a deal, because it is a strategy game. Uh, actually, sounds and graphics are less of a deal than world design should be. I take that back. Uh, yeah, let's go like that. Putting a lot of design into this game, a lot of design, uh, a good bit of heart and technology. Uh, we got a few bugs to finish off here and then uh, put in some more to technology and design. I'm gonna go ahead and let this polish off and then release it while we still have a popular genre of strategy. Midstrat Sync is a medieval strategy game. It's a new combo. It's a great combo. It's a trend match. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That's that's brilliant. So we got our new game. It's Midstrat Sync. I have a good feeling about this game. Oh, seeing some real high numbers there. Uh, good game. Star Games. Medieval and strategy is a great combination. Played it for days. Game Hero. And All Games likes it. We got a 10 from All Games with Kicker on the, um, whatchamacallit, though. So Playing Doctor is now off the market. Uh, and now we're putting up uh, Midstrat Sync. Sold almost 20,000 copies day one. Look at how much money that's bringing in. That's just bringing in so much cash. Uh, game Adventure Convention. Uh, let's see here. Sure, let's go for that. And then let's see what we have under research. Do we want to research a new topic? Uh, we could do a prison 
Let's do a... Hmm... What about a prison? We could do either a prison adventure game or a prison simulation game. I think both of those would be pretty cool. Uh, Midstrat Sync doing very, very well for us. Very well, I indeed. Um, let's let's start having a look for staff. Uh, I need to have the staff management complete. Midstrat Sync. It's a game that's already launched. So G3 is going down and lots of people are coming and looking at it and then they're probably going to go out and buy the game. So hopefully that'll prove to us a revitalization in sales um, that, that should bring more to the sales, I would think, since that happened. We've sold over 70,000 copies of it. Uh, let's go ahead and train you. Whoops. Click on your head. Uh, Nenento, Next Generation Console, the TES, Never Before 3D Realism, CD-ROM Format, Impressive Console, Nemento, Boni's Play System. Okay, cool. So, I'm feeling like we need to develop a new game for the Play System. The topic is going to be racing. It's going to be a racing action game. For the play system, the game engine is going to be the kitchen sink. We're going to call this the race. Oops, the racer, racer room. And so that's that's going to be kind of like a successor to the racer, except I want it to be separate. And then it's going to be for everyone. It's going to be 3D graphics using that awesome 3D graphics that the play system does have. Uh, we want a good story, but we want strong engine and strong gameplay as well. That should be a good balance. We want a linear story and simple cutscenes. That should do well. It's a racing action game. Let's see, we haven't had a million dollar game yet, though. Uh, however, we do have hype on this game, so that's quite cool. Dialogue's not a huge deal. Uh, level design, even less of a deal than artificial intelligence, actually can come down just a bit. That should work out well. dumping a lot of technology into this and then afterwards let's train you for staff management whoops there we go staff management and so that actually has halted the development of our game it's for us to do that and it's normal again with no particular trends which is fine because we weren't developing a strategy game uh, we completed our management course all right now that that's done we can hire somebody uh, whenever we choose, but I want to make sure that we are good and strong money-wise. Uh, for this, we want to bring down the world design and make sure that we focus on good graphics and good sounds. 3D graphics, very important. Uh, mono sound, I wish we had stereo in our engine, but I simply cannot add that at this point. Uh, we do have an open world, though, so it's going to be an open world racing action game. I think this is going to be really cool. The new TES-64 by Ninvento has been released. This is going to be for the play system. I have a really good feeling about this. Let's go ahead and finish off all these bugs, add some more technology, add some more design, and push this out the door. Oh yeah, definitely adding to technology here. Uh, are we going to add any more bugs? No? Okay, great. Another proposition. <sighs> no, I don't want to sabotage. Would you stop asking me that? Now I'm going to release Racer Vroom. That should be a new record in design. Nothing new category-wise, but it, it should be good because it's going to be on the play system. We are versatile. We just got an achievement. That's pretty cool. We got our Racer Um. Oh my gosh. A 10. A 10. Yes, action games work well on the play system. Come on, a 10. Can't wait for the sequel. Come on, a 10. Let's pull off two 10s here. Or nine all across the board. I will take nine all across the board, too. I'm very... Oh, my gosh. We nailed that. We nailed that, guys. Let's have a look at these sales. Oh, I'm so excited. I think this is going to be one of our biggest games yet. The Racer Vroom.
Look at those sails. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh wow, nice little revitalization in sales. I bet if I would have marketed this, this game would do even better. Look at that. Just bringing in tons of money. Tons and tons. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at our uh, research that we can do. Let's go ahead and research marketing. Yeah, we're gonna research marketing. Already sold over 70,000 copies. Just bringing in the cash with this. Uh, selling tons of units. Just, just doing really well with this game. Racer Vroom is now off the market. It generated about a half a million dollars in sales, which is not bad at all. We've successfully unlocked marketing now. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to research? Can we research any new topics? We can research a hospital game. Uh, what about a hospital simulator that uses two, three, 3D graphics? That sounds cool. Okay, so we are gonna make a new game. Hosp Sim Sync. This is Hosp Sim Sync. Hosp Sim Sync. It's for everyone. The topic is going to be hospital. It's going to be a simulation game. The platform is going to be the PC, obviously, and the game engine is going to be the 2, uh, not 2.0, the Kitchen Sync 1.0. We want to use 3D graphics. We want a uh, mouse, joystick, gamepad, save game, simple cutscenes, and linear story, no. No need for stories and quests, really. It's just a simulation game, so we want good gameplay and a good engine. Cool, we already have hype around this game as well. Uh, at some point, I think I should do some maybe some marketing. I don't know if I can, actually. I probably should have done it before we started this game. Um, dialogue's not a huge deal. Level design we want really strong. Artificial intelligence in a simulation game, not a huge deal. Can I do any marketing? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Let's market. Uh, let's see here. We are mid-stage of development, so let's market in magazines. It's already increasing our hype. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is going to be a new category anyway. Uh, basic sounds, 3D graphics, uh, V1, open world, no need for that. Uh, we want a good world design, uh, strong graphics though, and uh, strong sounds. The Super TES is no longer supported. Uh, we definitely earned back our licensing cost though, and we pioneered the way with a new system. So we should be very, very proud of ourselves, guys. That's that's a great job. Uh, we got to get all these bugs out, and uh, luckily this booth should cover Hosp Sim Sync. Uh, maybe we can go there and have the booth first. It would be awesome if we could have the booth, then release the game. Come on, can we have the booth first? Can the booth happen? I would love it if we could go to G3, get our booth. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. So Hosp Sim Sync is gonna be our game at G3. Everyone's gonna be stopping by, having a look at it, and then we're gonna release it. That's very, very cool. Very slick. 59,000 people looked at it. Our hype is now huge. We're gonna release this game and it should do very, very well. It's a new topic, it's a new combo. It's a great combo. A hospital simulator game called Hosp Sim Sync. 3D Graphics version one is level three now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, 3D Graphics version two is something we can research. Let's go ahead and do so. Uh, 3D Graphics version two. Um, can I not? Excuse me. Why can't I research anything? Oh, duh, I don't have enough. Um research points. Okay, so let's hold off on that for just a moment and see how our sales do, and then I think it's time to wrap up, guys. Hosp Sim Sync. We had a massive hype. I have a feeling everyone's gonna really love this game. It's an enjoyable game, Star Games. I mean, it's a simulation. You know, you can't, you can't be too amazed by a simulation game. It's quirky but good. Hey, 
you know, let, let's have a look at our sails with this, and uh, and then I feel like we can we can go hop off and uh, have a have a break. You know, I feel like that we've done better this round than we did before. Uh, let's go ahead and research a superhero game. Rank 57, not quite as popular as I'd have hoped, but you know, still bringing in quite a bit in sales. Uh, it was a highly hyped game, a very, very highly hyped game, and I think that we definitely delivered to that hype, uh, but sales just totally crawling to like a, an absolute drizzle. But you know, we're back up into the uh, three quarters of a million dollars kind of range. We have sold almost 70,000 units. That's awesome. And, uh,. I think that's it for me, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. I'm going to try and get back to releasing some more uh, Minecraft content soon. It was just a matter of getting things set with my new computer and whatnot, and then getting the part I need to replace on my desktop and all that nightmare stuff. But um, between that and physical therapy, my life has been very, very busy. But uh, I promise I'm going to get more Minecraft stuff out soon. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you want to, you can totally favorite. I feel like no one ever remembers to favorite. I don't, you know, whatever. I never favorite anything, so I'm just as bad about myself. But liking is definitely super useful to let me know that this is a series you guys enjoy. I'm having a lot of fun playing this. Uh, look at that. We just generated about a half a million dollars in sales. We're totally staying afloat, developing new things, getting expensive developer license, paying them for themselves, I feel like we're doing well here. You know, this is much better than last time. We were much less aggressive, and uh, in turn, we have pretty much stayed stable. We haven't had a massive hit game yet. We got some really high scores, but not necessarily a hit game. We will get um, a nice uh, sequel next time to the Racer Vroom, and other than that, I'm Technic Packbot, and I'll see you next time. I mean, we really did well, guys. We should be very, very proud. I will always be watching you.